Hey everybody, this is Vincent from Wolfland Productions. I know a lot of people have already done this video, but there is a simpler way, not to mention, there is a slight glitch in the programming for all XP and Vista. Oh, well, it hasn't affected my Vista yet, but it has affected my P uh, XP. Alright, now this will work for any device that uh, needs Ethernet, such as an, a slim PS2, a PS3, Xbox 360, original Xbox, and so on. What you first have to do is that you need to go to the two globe, or two monitors that has the low globe. Click it once, and you'll see network and sharing. In case you can't find those, go to your start menu, then go up to control panel. And look for network and sharing center. It's the second row, third column, or somewhere around there. Actually, fourth column, second row. Well, either way. Anyway, now you're at the network and sharing center. What you have to do next is go to manage network connections. All right, you'll see two things here: your ether, uh, your Ethernet port and your wireless. And here's where it gets a little bit fun. Make sure not to click on your uh, LAN connection. Click on your wireless, right click it, then go to properties. Click OK. Now I know they all say bridge the connection, but that connection for your system. Go to sharing and then click allow other users to connect through this computer internet uh, connection. Click it, then press OK. Now the computer's thinking on whether it should do this or not, I'm just joking, but it, it does take it a couple seconds. Because what it's literally doing is changing its Ethernet port from an import to an outport. In other words, uh, the internet goes. Uh, comes to it through the wireless and goes through its uh, Ethernet port to whatever device. This will not slow down your computer, but if you're doing a bunch of things at once on your computer, it can slow down your connection. This is as good as any wireless uh, adapter connection. In fact, sometimes it's even better. But there is a catch. In case you shut off your uh, internet or you shut off your Xbox and turn it back on, it could say that it can't connect back on. What you have to do then is right click it again. Go to properties, press OK, well continue, and then do the same steps. Uh, go to, well, undo allow, and then redo allow, and then press OK. And now we'll switch over to my XP. Alright, now here's the XP part. Now remember what I said before. Using this, you might have to repeat the steps. Now first go to start, then go to connect to and then go to show all connections. Now only focus on the LAN and the wireless. Right click your wireless, go down to properties. This does take a couple seconds. And like I said you might have to repeat these steps, you might not have to, it all depends on if your Xbox doesn't reconnect. Next, when this pops up, go to Advanced, and then click that little box, and then press OK. And that's how you do it for XP and Vista. And thank you for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you all in another one of my videos.